Hey guys, I decided to make a sauce today. I've been uh, sitting on some ghost peppers, need to use them up. And I uh, decided to get some cherries. Well, not exactly sure what I'm going to do with the sauce exact uh, yet, but uh, yeah, let's get to it. Need to wash some stuff up. Alright, this is what we're looking at as an experiment. Banana, avocado, ghost, hobs, cherry, apple cider vinegar, some rice wine vinegar. Let's see how that goes. Decent experiment. Alright, cherries are pitted and in the pot. Alright, in goes the habaneros and ghost peppers. Alright, in went the avocado and banana. I'm weighing everything, by the way. So I'm trying to keep track of weights, just in case this weird experiment turns out to be something pretty tasty. Alright, in went the vinegar. And cranked up the heat. Gonna put the, put the lid on and let it simmer for a while. Or cook down for a while and uh, soften everything up. Alright, this is where we're at. Making a big mess. Holy moly. So the uh, sauce was spattering a bit. <laughs> like a freaking pool of magma sort of thing. You know what I'm talking about? Just plop, 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 plop. Right after I stopped filming that last clip, walked up to the pan, and whoof, right in my eye. I got steve -oed. Oh man. I got an endorphin rush almost immediately, like less than 60 seconds later. <laughs> I, it like hit me. No sweats, I'm not sweating, no nothing. I'm just rubbing my face for no damn reason. I have pepper to haul over my hands. I'm rubbing my whole face. Whew. Good stuff. All right, back to the sauce. All right, guys, what we're doing right now is checking the pH, making sure that the cherries alone are enough to bring the pH down below four. It's um, it jumped right down to 4.2, and now it's tapering down a little bit. So it's on the high side, uh, but I think we're still safe. I'm going to let it sit and stabilize for a, another second. And it just dropped, oh, just turned off, but it just dropped below four. Um, Anyways, so I think we're good. Good to go on the pH there. Um, we want to check temperature. Don't want it to fall below 185. We're close to 190 here. Um, probably need to crank the heat up just a little bit to keep it warm. And then time to bottle. Alright guys, ended up with four jars, plus about half a jar for myself. Tasted it a bit, uh, it tastes pretty good. Uh, I've only tasted it hot though, so I need to let it cool off. But uh, yeah, uh, I will come back with you uh, once it's cooled off. So after this clip, I'll probably have a taste testing clip once it's cooled down. Heat it with some uh, like brie and uh, crackers or something. Uh, since I do happen to have some, a buddy of mine came to hang out yesterday and left us with some cheese. And so, yeah. Anyways, um, note to self, don't get hot sauce in your eye, whether it's on purpose or not. <laughs> Alright, see you in the next clip. Alright guys, got myself a plate of cheese and crackers and wow that light really blows it out anyways um yeah so i got some sauce here oh, man. It smells pretty good so i didn't mention before or show but i did add a little salt and a little honey um so other than what you guys saw that's what's in it no hiding anything, no 
secrets. No, nothing. So let's go ahead and give her a taste now that she's cooled off. Now it's a thicker sauce, but it's not a chunky necessarily sauce, but it stands up. But it wants to run a little bit. It would probably be a little harder to get out of a bottle, um, no doubt. Uh, but I think with a little tweaking, you could get the flow rate just right. Has an interesting taste and a decent experiment. So <clears throat> obviously I can taste the cherries and there's a mixture of all the peppers in there. There's quite a bit of peppers so love the ghost and the habaneros. It's got a little bit of heat to it. Oops, just spilt on the plate. At least it's on the plate, not the floor. Yeah, so it's a little sweet. Might have added a touch too much salt. We'll see about that. Maybe I could have used a little more vinegar. Uh, probably should have added a little lemon, lemon juice. Lemon or lime, but probably lemon juice. I probably should have added a little. Dang, forgot about that. The heat, I can feel it in my throat. There's a little sting in my mouth. It's warm. Uh, hasn't brought the sweats on yet. But as a sauce, I might say it's like a four for a sauce. really smooth. Once in a while you'll get a little bit which might be a little seed or something but the texture with the banana in there and the avocado the texture is really awesome. Alright let's try on some brie and a cracker. Not sure if that's the best combo. It's good. Not sure if it's the best combo though. Um, the sauce. What do I think? Well, I think it's pretty good. Definitely don't think it's like a hit right off the bat. Probably need to tweak the salt, add a little citrus. And the citrus won't hurt at all. It'll just help bring the pH down a little bit, which the pH was just below four. Um, yeah, I like, I like the warmth it's got, I like it quite a bit. Yeah, not the best combo, but I'll still finish it up. Huh. Oh, I thought I was going to be in trouble, guys. I was making this sauce kind of late in the day. Wife got home and it was the house. I was just jarring it up. 
And the house was like prime, peak, like scent of all the habanero and the ghost peppers and everything. But she took it like a champ. Okay. Conclusion is it's pretty good, but it needs some work. Simple as that. Uh, cool. That's how it goes sometimes with making sauce. That's why you try not to make too big of a batch at first. Uh, but sometimes it's hard to make a real small batch of sauce. Um, like four jars. It's kind of. Um, yeah, kind of about where I draw the my line. So, anyways, thanks for stopping by, guys. Checking out the video. Hope you enjoyed it. I enjoyed making the sauce. Um, shout out to uh, Rhett Grizzly Heat Griffin and Joe Hannigan at uh, Heating Up. Uh, I'm going to be sending you guys a jar of the sauce. I've been waiting to send you guys out a package. Uh, same goes for you, Steve uh, Gillespie at uh, Heat My Shorts. Whenever you feel like coming back, man, that's cool. If you if you watch this and catch this, it's awesome, man. Um, otherwise, do your thing. Doesn't uh, doesn't bother us any. We just wish you were around. That's all. Um, anyways, uh, hope everybody's having a great Fourth of July. If you catch this on another day, just hope you're having a great day. And that's that, guys. Rock on.